Hello everyone. So in this video, we will learn how to automatically transfer files from Dropbox to OneDrive. So basically, we are going to begin with a small example. So this is my Dropbox account. And the idea is that I'm going to upload a file. So let me just upload a file in Dropbox. Okay. So let me just upload a file of BMW Vision. Okay. So this is a JPG file. Now, if you want to upload any other kind of file, it will also work. So JPG file has been uploaded. The name of the file is Vision and uh, this is the image. Okay. JPG image. This is of a BMW Vision. Now, the idea is that in a matter of time, we will be getting the same image in my OneDrive account. Now, there is something I have to tell you. Dropbox actually takes an appreciable amount of time to send the data. So maybe just maybe we may have to wait five or six minutes to receive this data in OneDrive. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to pause this uh, for five minutes and when the data will arrive, I will show you. Okay, so as you can see, after a delay of uh, two, three minutes, we have got the same image. Okay, so as you can see, this is the image of uh, vision, BMW vision. So your obvious question is, how did I do it? How did I manage to send the data from Dropbox to OneDrive? So basically here I have used an integration and automation software called as Pabli Connect that integrates Dropbox and OneDrive. Now the best part of using Pabli Connect is there is actually no need for coding skills or programming knowledge. Let me show you the process. So basically in the new tab, let me just type pabli.com, P-A-B-B-L-Y.com, pabli.com. Okay, so hover on products and here you will find connect. Just click on connect. Okay, so this is the landing page here. Just click on sign in. Okay, so this is the dashboard of uh, Pabli Connect. As you can see, I already have made an account in Pabli Connect. You can also create your own free account in just two minutes. Let me just uh, scroll down and here you will find connect. Just click on access now. Okay, so at the top right corner, you will find a button create workflow. Click this. So basically, we are going to create a new workflow to integrate Dropbox and OneDrive. So how about I give the name Dropbox to OneDrive. Okay, Dropbox to OneDrive. Okay, and let me just click on create. So when you click on create, you will find two windows, the trigger window as well as the action window. So basically, we are going to create a new workflow to integrate Dropbox and OneDrive. Now you should know that uh, I will add the link of this workflow in the description box so that you can clone it and directly access it into your work account. Okay, so now in the trigger window, I'm going to uh, choose the app as Dropbox because we actually want to send that data from Dropbox. Okay, Dropbox it is. Now in the trigger event, how about we make it as new file? Okay, so new file is a trigger event. So your obvious question is what is a trigger event? Trigger is basically a if statement. It asks a question if this condition is met, what should be done? For example, if a new file is uploaded in Dropbox, then what action should be taken by the system? Now at present, we only have one trigger event that is new file. But in case if you want more trigger events, all you have to do is approach the help section, click here. And in the help section, you will be straight away redirected to Pabli forums. And in Pabli forums, you can make a request that you want so and so trigger events. Okay, so let me just close this. So basically the gist is uh, once the file is uploaded in Dropbox, Pabli Connect will get this data. Now there is something I have to do. Okay, let me just click on connect. Okay, in the new connection name. So basically we are just trying to connect with Dropbox. Excellent. Authorization is successful. Okay. Now by default, it is showing the folder path. Okay. So what is the folder path? So as you can see, this is my Dropbox account. Let me just straight away take you to home. So these are all the folders I have. Okay. So the idea is that we have to mention a one particular folder in which when the file is uploaded, Pabli Connect will receive the data. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to create a new folder. Okay. And the name of the folder is data storage just a random name and let me just click on create. Okay, so this is a new folder that I have created data storage. So I'm planning to mention the folder path as data storage. And this is how you uh, basically enter the folder path. You just copy this and simply paste it here. Okay, but it is not over in front of data storage. You just have to enter the slash sign. Okay, so basically the idea is that when I click on save and send this request, it will fetch me the data of the recently uploaded folder, recently uploaded file in this particular folder. Okay, so let me just click on save and send test request. Okay, so as you can see, it is showing error. This is because at present we haven't uploaded any kind of a file in this particular folder. Okay, as you can see, this is completely empty. So let me just upload a new file. 
okay so we are going to upload the image of uh, let's say event tattoo lamborghini event tattoo we have uploading it okay okay so a new file called as uh, aventador.jpg has been uploaded now what i'm going to do here is once again let me just click on save and send test request so as you can see this time we do have the details of a file so as you can see these are the details aventador.jpg and the most important thing that we want is basically the file link so this is the file link that we want to add in onedrive so this is the one we want let me just copy this and let me just show you if I open this in a new tab, okay. So basically, this is the same image, okay. So what's next? So basically, we are going to work with the action window. So this is the action window, and here we are going to mention OneDrive because we want to send this data to OneDrive, Microsoft OneDrive, okay. Now in the action event, how about we just make it as upload file, and let me just click on connect. In the new connection name, let me just click on connect with Microsoft OneDrive. Okay, so it is trying to sign me in. Okay, so let me just give access, Pabli access to OneDrive account. Now, before you press allow, let me just tell you something. Pabli Connect doesn't take any chances with your data. Your data is 100% safe and secure with us. So, on the basis of that trust, let me just press yes. Authorization complete. Press OK. So, we do have some fields that is folder list, file name, file URL and file. So basically, the idea is that using all the data that is present here, we are going to upload a new file in OneDrive. Okay, so that's the purpose of automation. Now, again, we have this folder list. So basically, these are all the folders that is present in my OneDrive account. Let me just show you. Let me just show you my home page. Okay, so basically, these are all the folders that is present in my OneDrive account. Now, uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to create a new folder. Okay, let me just create a new folder. And the folder name is, let's say, new image or new picture or new data, new data storage. Okay, easy. And let me just click on create. Okay, so as you can see, a new folder called as new data storage has been added. Now, uh, I'm planning to insert the image from Dropbox in this particular folder. Okay, so that is why let me just go to Pabli Connect and uh, let me just click on refresh. So when I click on refresh, since Pabli Connect is integrated with OneDrive, I can expect to find this newly created folder in the dropdown. As you can see, we do have the folder new data storage. Okay, so we have to mention the file name and this is how you mention the file name. Now remember this, this is the data that we have got from the trigger window that is avantado.jpg we are going to map this particular detail here okay so let me just click this okay this is the first accordion and we have mapped it easy then we have to enter the file url now remember this this was the file url and i have shown you this will just straight away open the uh, image and this is how you map it let me just show you the file url that we have got from the trigger window so this is the file url and uh, this is this is the file url that we are going to map you click here you click here and you are just going to map it okay easy done then we have uh, the file let's keep it as default okay so we have uh, practically entered all the details now uh, to send this data to onedrive all you have to do is just click on save and send test request let me do that okay so let's have a look in onedrive so this is the folder okay let me just click this okay and let me just refresh this Okay, so as you can see, we do have the image of Aventa Tour. Excellent. So our integration is working smoothly. Now, before you leave, let me just explain you the whole mechanism in a nutshell. So let me just minimize this action window and let me just minimize the trigger window. So basically, this is the whole process in a nutshell. First, you integrated Dropbox to Public Connect and then you have integrated Public Connect to OneDrive. So now there's a perfect flow of data between Dropbox and OneDrive. Excellent.